Good morning everybody, I'm Eddie Ray and you're watching my YouTube channel. And in this video, hope to give you a show of Montgomery Bell State Park near Burns, Tennessee. Stay tuned and enjoy. stayed here at the inn in room 105. 105 is a pet friendly room because we're in Sydney and uh, this is our room. Give you a quick show around. It's not much. They don't have any pet friendly rooms that are uh, have a larger size than a double so keep that in mind but otherwise it's pretty good. Um, we've got two double beds here uh, and then of course a television. It comes with an ironing board and if you go along there's a small closet and then coffee maker. And then in the bathroom, as you can see, regular shower stall um, with a toilet and all the necessary amenities for that. Uh, one good thing with the room is it overlooks the outside. The outside area here to the water, all you gotta do is turn the lock and you can go out the door and do whatever you have to do. So this is a pet friendly room, two doubles, room 105. I so saw on the lake here at the park, they've got a fishing area. There's a limit for bass, there's a limit for catfish, but they've got this uh, little boat area. Looks like they rent out kayaks and canoes and aluminum boats. You can't have any motorized boats on here that as far as gasoline is concerned, electrical I believe is okay. Uh, beyond the fishing area is a swimming area. So there's a swimming area and then it backs up to a building over on the far side here, which is for picnics and that sort of thing. Uh, there's a couple of bridges, one on this side and then the other side of the inn that are really neat as well. So right now we're in the State Park Inn. And within the inn is a restaurant where we have had breakfast and dinner. And of course there is a gift shop, which overlooks a beautiful lake area out here at Montgomery Bell. This is a really rustic, nice looking area. People are friendly and it's good eating. You may wanna check it out. part of uh, Montgomery Bell State Park is the Frank G. Clement Golf Course. It's an 18 hole golf course and as you can see behind me the putting green back here is beautiful and very nice fairways. Looks like they're getting ready to come into bloom as it's only spring. Behind me you can see is the Pro Shop and there are numerous golf courses they've got out of here. This is a really pretty area for this and uh, uh, from personal experience I have family who's used this course and enjoys this course greatly. So make sure you check it out. Frank G. Clement Golf Course here at Montgomery Bell. So we're at the park office here at Montgomery Bell and we're going to take a look around see what they've got to offer. I know there are many many trails here, a couple of playgrounds, there's plenty of picnicking, outside swimming, of course it's cold right now, may not want to do that. Uh, but all the good amenities of a good state park. So we'll take a look around see what's going on. In the background uh, behind me you'll see one of the cabins and villas that they have in this area. Uh, the park has numerous cabins and villas that you can see and as we've driven around uh, they're all occupied so it must be a big thing. I've never stayed in any of these but it certainly looks feasible and a nice area. They have nice rooftops and uh, nice structures so Looks like they're in pretty good shape. Something you might want to check out are the cabins and villas here. As always, one of the most important things we do is scope out the campground. Uh, so we're going to do our walk around as we always do and give you a review of different sites from where we are and what we see. So in the area of the campground, there's like a middle area here. Uh, you take the main roadway down and in this area here is tent camping only so it looks like primitive sites they have several of them uh, as you can see we've got someone setting up over here as we walk pretty neat little area and across the roadway from that are other primitive sites so make sure you check your map and you can make sure you want to reserve if you like primitive camping and then we'll take a look at the travel trailers and campers as we go around behind me here are sites 69 and site 71. Now you can see it's a very small pad uh, and uh, maybe somewhat leveled, not leveled off, but got an incline to it. Uh, they have burn pits, picnic tables, water hookups, and electrical. Uh, smaller campsites, not real big. 
So far in Tennessee this year, in the month of February, we've had about 10 inches of rain, which is extremely high. I think it's the third highest in recorded history. This campground sits pretty low, and there are a lot of sites that I see where it's still standing water. Of course, 10 inches is a lot of rain, uh, but uh, there's a lot of water on the ground, and if you're camping in this area, uh, the water builds up, so you got a really muddy site. Well, that's something I want to enjoy, but it's just something to be aware of. The site behind me here is site 87 with this particular camper, and if you'll look, there's a ton there's a load of standing water, so it's something to be mindful of. There are several of these sites that are like that. Looks like there are either two or three bathhouses here in the campground. I'm going to take you into the men's and kind of show you what they look like. I've already checked, there's no one in here, so we'll just take a quick look. You go in, you see the restrooms, you've got a couple of urinals or toilets and a couple of showers to take a look at. This is the shower area. And there is a handicapped shower area as well. Same way, sitting area. These are pretty clean, typical normal campground uh, restrooms, amenities. It's warm in here. It's about uh, 50 degrees outside, a little bit cooler, but pretty good restrooms. So on the back side of the campground, there's a creek, as you can see. Uh, man, this is it's it's rolling. Again, we've had a lot of rain, but uh, it sounds really good. It's peaceful. Kind of drowns out all the other sites that you hear dogs barking and that other kind of stuff in the campground. I've only heard one other dog barking. Yeah, of course, everybody we travel with a dog. She doesn't cause any problems, but some, as we all know, do. Uh, but this is really nice and, again, peaceful. Uh, certainly, when you have your campfire, uh, we this is to be enjoyed. You'll notice the red identifier uh, for these sites. This is site 100, 102, 104, and so on across the way are the odd numbers. But this particular site with the red sign, uh, these have sewer. So this is super nice. As you can see, you have the electrical hookup, you have the sewer line, you have your water hookup, burn pit, gravel pad, and then picnic table. And it backs up to this uh, wooded area behind you with a creek in the background. Site 110, site 111. The empty site is site 112. And this one here is 109. Again, these are pretty decent sites. Don't see any issue with camping any of these, and they mostly all accommodate pretty good-sized camp camper uh, in the excess of, you know, 26 to plus foot. Okay, sites 118 and 119. Back behind me here, 118, as you can see but directly beside it, within six or seven feet, is site 119. You need to be picky and choosy about these particular sites because if you're not careful, you're gonna be looking at somebody's backside, I mean, right in your face. So uh, we like to have a little bit more spaced out, uh, such as this site 120 here, where there's nothing around. So be mindful of that when you make your reservations. Right next to the campground is a large pavilion, an open field, and then, of course, a playground area. All these are in access to the campground, just not very far away. If you've got small children or you've got a large family event, a picnic, or something of the sort, perfect for that area. Also within the campground, as most do, this has a dump station that's accessible on your way out, as well as a laundry station uh, that's very convenient for those of us who often get dirty. Uh, very good. Okay, so we are leaving Montgomery Bell here making our way out. It's pretty early in the morning, but we get started early. That way we get home early, and some people like to mess with cats and so forth, and I'm sure there's laundry in these people. Uh, so, what did everybody say about it? Thumbs up! Logan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's our routine. Sydney said she yeah. liked it. And Sydney liked it. Uh, 
So there is an abundance of trails here, plenty, plenty of miles of trails to hike. There are bicycle trails here. It's one thing we didn't touch about, talk about and show. We've been here previously and done the bicycle trails. So they're also a lot of fun. So make sure you check it out if you enjoy it. And if you want something you think you want to do, you're somewhere near Dixon, Tennessee. Otherwise, if you're a first time viewer and watching our videos, we encourage you to click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can get our normal release videos, which are uh, sporadic, but uh, sometimes frequent or infrequent. Uh, so hit the subscribe button at the top of the screen. Make sure you comment and share and don't, don't forget to dream big and live for the moment.